Hey everyone, this is Robocochian from Robocoach Technologies, and today I'm pleased to announce the release of a new version of Rustcribe designated as version 0.1. In version 0.1, we completely revamped the user experience of Rustcribe by taking an agentic approach. In particular, version 0.1 of Rustcribe is composed of four agents, helping you with every step towards building your Rust project. As a user, you will first encounter the spec agent, which helps with the overall skeleton of your project. In Rust terms, it builds the Rust graph of the project, where each part of the graph can be either AI-generated or pulled from an open-source repository. Then, the spec agent passes your Rust graph to the gen agent. This agent generates the Rust workspace and the code for each Rust node in Python. Alternatively, it can download an open-source implementation for the Rust node. Next, PackAgent learns from your generated Rust workspace and creates a launch file that brings up the Rust nodes. Furthermore, package, cmakelix, and readme files are also generated by this agent. Finally, support agent will help you whenever you encounter any error during running your project. This agent already has access to the layout of the project and can internally read the generated files. In this demo, I will show you an example of how to use Rustcribe in order to create a LiDAR SLAM pipeline. I start by writing down the overall description of the task that I want to implement. So the task is to basically read the LiDAR data from a text file and do 2D mapping and localization at the same time. Uh, so the first thing I want is just a Rust node that reads those uh, LiDAR scans. And as soon as I write down my description, Rust node, as you can see, gives me a bunch of suggestions uh, in terms of what Rust nodes or Rust packages I can use to do this task. And these are pretty decent suggestions, uh, but I also want to build upon that. I want to, after reading the uh, LiDAR data, I want to also use it in mapping and localization. So I provide that to Rustcribe. And it uh, gives me some ideas. It says that, okay, you can use a slam G mapping, which is pretty good. I just want to take a look at the Rust, uh, Rust graph right now. And yeah, it looks like as I want it to be a LiDAR node. And also uh, LiDAR node provides the uh, LiDAR scan topics to the mapper. And that's pretty much what I want. Then uh, I say farewell to the spec agent, go forward with working with the gen, gen agent, which is basically responsible for generating the code or downloading the code to implement the Rust nodes that I have in mind. So as you saw in the Rust graph, there is a LiDAR reader node. So we want to uh, implement this node from scratch. So I just let uh, the Rust graph know that, okay, let's do this from scratch. Uh, so here is the description of the node as well as the data that the node is uh, trying to read. So it produces a Python script to read the data. However, as you can see, all Python Rust nodes start with uh, a specific like uh, Python uh, declaration at the beginning of the code, but this code doesn't have that declaration. So I, first and foremost, I want to add that declaration. The cool thing about the new version of Rustcribe is that uh, you can actually interactively edit your code just through natural language uh, input and feedbacks, basically. So ask uh, Rustcribe to add that uh, Python declaration at the beginning of my Rust node, uh, and it basically does that. So now I want to add a, a specific if statement to the function that reads the data, because the thing is that, as you saw in the description of the node, every uh, every line in my data starts with a, a statement of F laser, which stands for front laser. I'm basically giving Rustcribe a feedback to incorporate uh, an if statement that takes into account only the F laser lines in the data. Okay, as you can see, now the Rust node implementation is good. So let's just uh, move on and work on the next uh, Rust node. So for this one, I want to actually use open source implementation. Uh, so I basically ask Rustcribe to uh, download Hector Slam for me. And as you can see, it just goes uh, ahead and downloads the, uh, downloads the repository. So everything is going into a Rust workspace here. Uh, you can see that when you're using Rustcribe, so everything is in Rust workspace. The packages that has been downloaded and the package that is being uh, generated by Rustcribe itself. 
it just goes ahead, downloads Hector Slam, and now we're basically done with uh, Gen Agent. So we go ahead and talk to the packaging agent, and as, and as you can see, packaging agent has been already able to uh, provide you with the launch file. However, the launch file is not as good as I want, so I want to add some some other stuff to the launch file and also make some changes. So uh, first of all, I want to uh, basically make the launch file compatible with the Rust node that has been implemented. Uh, I want a parameter. Uh, for the data address, so I, I asked Rustcribe to add this to my launch file as a parameter for the uh, LiDAR reader node. Uh, so just goes ahead and add that. And also, I want to get rid of a published topic uh, parameter. So that's pretty much it. Now let's focus on the Hector Slam uh, node. So uh, first of thing is that uh, the name of the package is not what I want. So Hector Slam is a repository. Uh, which is composed of many different Rust packages. Uh, so I want to specifically use Hector Mapping Rust package. So I want to f change the Hector Slam name to Hector Mapping. That's pretty much it. So it done, uh, does that. Uh, now we want to add a bunch of parameters to to the launch file for Hector Mapping. And yeah, I just list my requirements and uh, it's gonna add them one by one pretty much in an iterative manner. Yeah, and also I want to get rid of the remapping. So I just write it down. It does it for me. There is one other thing I want to do. So uh, as you might be familiar with LiDAR SLAM frameworks, uh, we need to have consistent uh, transformations between the LiDAR frame, body frame, and also from the body frame to the board frame. So body frame to board frame is uh, handled by Hector mapping through a LiDAR a scan matching uh, localization framework. But for the LiDAR to base link, I still need to define a transformation. So I'm going to do that uh, through, the, through some type of... Uh, a static transformation in the launch file. So I ask to ask Rustcribe to add that static transformation for me. And you don't need to actually provide numbers. You can just say, okay, let's do the identity transformation and it already figures it out. So yeah, that's that. It, it did the work. Now we are gonna basically finalize the uh, packaging steps. We want a package.xml file, cmx list file, and just a readme file for documentation. Rustcribe is going to do all of those automatically. You can still like add your uh, add your comments and feedbacks, but it it's fairly straightforward in, at this part. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, everything is ready. See, we basically made the LiDAR SLAM pipeline in a few minutes just by talking. And now let's install it and run the run the code. Let's see what happens. Okay, so here is a Arby's uh, environment, and yeah, we're basically running the launch file that was uh, generated by Rustcribe. And here is a demo of the robot, so it can read the lidar data and also perform a 2D slam, which means using lidar scan matching for localization and occupancy grid mapping for environment representation. So that's it everyone, uh, thank you for watching my presentation, hopefully you will have a nice time working with Rustcribe and let us know in, the, in our repository if you had any problems, any questions or if you have any ideas in terms of extending uh, Rustcribe. Have a good day.